Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, getting ready to go on our next road trip and I notice I've got a little bit of squealing coming from my serpentine belt. So um, let's go ahead here just really quick. I'm going to show you the way that the serpentine belt is set up on this. Uh, this is a Ram 6.4 4 liter um, 2015 year and uh, this one only has a single alternator so I'll flash that uh, diagram up on the screen so you can see what that's like for the dual alternator setup but let's just go ahead and look really quick here. So this is what it looks like. You can see you've got your tensioner right here. Okay, it's gonna come around this um, this pulley here and then back up and around the alternator. I'll just give you a good look at it there. So um, as far as wear items go, obviously the belt is one of them. Uh, you want to check the bearings in here. Just listen for squeals or any noise coming from this. Uh, whenever you take your belt off to replace it, you can uh, spin this with your fingers and see if there's any grinding or anything. And then also this um, tensioner arm down there, whenever you put your breaker bar into there or if you have the tensioner uh, tool you know, for, for moving that, um, just feel for any binding, any grinding, anything like that. They sell these as a kit. They're about $150, $160 for the entire kit. The belt itself is uh, only about 35 bucks. So I went with the Continental, uh, previously Goodyear, they bought all their stuff. Uh, they're excellent belts. I've used these for 200,000 miles on some engines. So uh, this truck has about 120,000 miles on it. I recommend just checking that uh, occasionally, you know, listen for noises, look for cracks, look for any fraying along the edges or things like that. There's really no interval as far as when to change these. I've seen them break it. 30,000 miles. I've seen them last to, you know, 200,000 miles. So everything is different. All right. Uh, as far as the video for changing this, it's pretty straightforward. When you are changing your belt, just make sure that you take a picture, or even a video of anything before you start. Uh, that way it makes it a whole lot easier for doing that. And if you're like me and you're stubborn, you just use a standard ratchet, see with the cheater bar, right? And you lift that up and that belt loosens up and you can just pull it right off. And when I've got the new belt on, let's say, for example, I, I missed, you know, like a like a groove or something. I don't have to take this completely off. I just barely move this, loosen things up, and then you can slide that over where you need to. Another thing I like to do is when I get my old belt off and I'm all finished and everything, I take my old belt, put it back in the uh, uh, new belt's packaging, and then I toss this in the bed of my truck or in my toolbox or wherever because you never know when you're going to need another one of these. And you definitely don't want to be stranded on the side of the road waiting for one, so... Uh, it's better just to have this spare. It takes up a little bit of room and uh, you never know when you need it. There's a million videos out there. Pretty much every uh, serpentine belt is the same. You know, you just get on that tensioner and you pull it and it relieves the tension. You pull the old one off, you put your new one back in there uh, following the diagram for whatever engine you're working on. So uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. If the video was helpful, make sure you hit that like. And uh, as always, check everything out. And if you like it, subscribe. All right, I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.